Hi everybody, welcome once again to another low on health video rambling blog cast. Basically just me going over kind of what I've done the last past day or so. Um, still just kind of mainly playing through Mass Effect 2, not really doing much else. Uh, I, I've learned that basically that you can actually, when you scout planets and scan them for resources, it's a perfect time to eat your lunch and your dinners and your breakfast. Because you can kind of do that one handed and eat and then keep doing that. So I've been kind of doing that non-stop. Only really kind of taking a break now to kind of eat and uh, you know, do some just basic web surfing and get this video out uh, on the web here. So let's just go ahead and get this started. Of course, Escapist Wednesday, we do have zero punctuation and the new ENN. Uh, zero punctuation was doing Bayonetta and then ENN basically capitalizing on the big news of the day, which I'll get to later on. And uh, as always, I definitely recommend watching these two shows off the Escapist. I always find them uh, extremely funny and enjoyable and entertaining. Moving on, uh, Gem FAQs, they're still doing their character battle, in which case I might be doing this every single day, but mainly because it involves my man Sora from Kingdom Hearts do I actually mention it, in which case I'm naturally going to vote for Sora over Minda because I have issues with uh, Zelda, in which case Sora is winning, so that's always good. And let's go ahead and take a look at the bracket here. we got the Sora's in this bracket, uh, Kefka's in this bracket, Bowser, Kratos. This actually could be a good one for Sora. I don't see anybody that could really kind of break it away. Uh, you know, Tails is a, a good favorite. HK 47's there. Kefka might make it far, but uh, maybe Sora win this division. It'd be really interesting. Now, of course, we all know today basically was the big announcement for the new Apple product. And of course, I'm just going to go off of Kotaku's listing of it um, for the iPad, which is their basically big touch screen. It's basically an iPhone. Just a little bit bigger and not really a phone. Um, here are the basic details. Um, you know, 1.5 pounds. You know, I was thinking about the MacBook or the Air that they did a year or so ago, which I was extremely disappointed with. Now, the cool thing about this, the iPad, which I will mention, is it's not as costly as I thought. I thought it'd be, you know, really expensive. And right here, you can kind of see the breakdown of the pricing. I mean, like the cheapest model is 4.99 for a 16 gig. That's Wi-Fi only. And of course, three Gs gonna be a little bit more, and if you want more gigs, yada yada yada. But I mean, I am I'm not gonna get one naturally, but it'd be interesting. And like you know, five years from now, these could be viable. I mean, I've always kind of liked the tablet structure. Um, with it being Wi-Fi, and it apparently does have a mic, it'd be interesting how well it uses for Skype and stuff, for using it as just like a portable communication device, wherever there's a Wi-Fi outlet, or if it's three G, you can almost use it as a phone if you use Skype and have a Skype number. Um, here's also some basic, you know, breakdowns. It is interesting that for a limited data plan, it's only just no contract, straight up twenty nine ninety nine a month. So thirty bucks for unlimited data isn't that bad of a deal, actually. I mean, you know, if it, it's fast and you get the three G model, I mean, it'd be interesting to kind of use that because I think you can, you know, tunnel them through and actually use that as your main internet source. So that's actually kind of interesting. Maybe something to look into. Yeah, I mean, if I'm paying $50 for internet now and 3G, depending on how fast it is, but I doubt it's probably not good for bed torrenting. Anyway, something for me to look into later. Um, but it does basically have the touch screen. It does basically use every single iPhone app and just it can upsize them, which is cool. Um, 10 hours uh, charge, you know, doesn't have a camera. Some people are complaining it doesn't have a camera. Um, but I mean, it basically has all the iPod stuff, all the iPhone stuff. I mean, it's interesting. Like I said, I'm not going to get one, and like the only other Apple product I was ever really interested in in the past was uh, the iPhone, oh, not the iPhone, but the iPod Shuffle, because it was very basic. Um, what they are mentioning for the gamer end of it is, as you can see there, for like tilting and stuff, great, but people are mentioning ports of iPhone games where you handheld them, where you would hold them like this, and there would be like a, a visual, like a virtual D-pad and buttons on the screen. It's very difficult to do with the iPad because it's that much bigger and that much kind of heavier for your hand. So some games might not translate well over. Um, but they all say it does look good. It is interesting. It's hopefully hitting the shelves in the next couple of months. It'll be interesting to see how many people pick up on it. Unfortunately, the iPhone catered to the people that buy phones all the time. I don't know how well this is going to sell for, you know, and either breakage and everything. But hey, down the road, I would pick up one used for about 200 bucks. I would probably buy like one of these for 200 bucks Wi-Fi just for something to fun to play with. But that day won't come, or if it does come, it'll come five years from now, in which case, hey, five years from now, if I'm still doing this, great. But other than that, I haven't really been doing much. Got to probably just eat something and get back to playing Mass Effect 2. Um, kind of enjoying it now. Kind of got the ball rolling. Kind of got the skills going. 
Um, still on the fence about doing a second playthrough. It's gonna really see what happens when the new game plus data was well, gonna translate over. Cause I really don't feel like going through all the planets again and uh, finding all the ore and getting all the upgrades and doing all that stuff. I really hope that stuff transfers over into the new game plus. And if it doesn't, then that would be a, a severe uh, kind of barrier for me to want to play through it again. But we'll see what happens. But uh, other than that, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching again and uh, have a good day.